This episode is presented by Destination New South Wales. Start planning your next New South Wales holiday now. Rivals. 11 iconic Australian surfers ply their trade on the waves that made them. If you thought these guys were good on the world tour, wait till you see what they can do at home. Every grain of sand, every crack in the reef, every bend in the bank, these guys know it and know what to do with it. Each surfer gets 45 days to choose the perfect conditions, two hours in the lineup, each surfer nominates his best three waves, and you judge them. No step offs from jet skis allowed, nothing but pure paddle power and Australia's best putting it to the test on their home court. Don't miss a beat, this is gonna be mad. Nathan Hedge, 41 years old. I'm from North Narrabeen, Australia, and I've been a pro surfer for roughly 27 years. Our second competitor is Nathan Hedge, aka Hog, aka the Hog Dog, one of Australian surfing's most committed and enigmatic characters. A junior prodigy with numerous top 10 world tour finishes, he's a beast in left handers ranging from 2 to 20 foot. This is a Narrabeen spray. This is pretty sick. TF shaped me this from Narra and it's got Narrabeen Sunrise on the bottom, old Martin Worthington. That's pretty mental. That's a Narra Sunrise. Hopefully it's like that. <laughs> Come on! Narra was pretty hardcore. There was lots of localism. I remember being put in the dog cage quite a bit. Pissed on, nude, tied up to the pole. Yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty full on pecking order and I remember fights and stuff in the water growing up ashore, um, people getting sent in and guys shaping up on the beach and some pretty heavy stuff going down for sure. Pretty angry vibe out there because you know, the level was so high so on a good day the locals were getting their waves and if ring-ins would come out and try and get waves I remember it being a bit of a bit of chaos you know. So yeah it was a pretty heavy intense environment. But also, you know, if you're in that, like I was as a grommet come through, I felt really supported and it was an incredible place to be an aspiring pro surfer trying to come through and, you know, it was, it was definitely a, a huge advantage travelling overseas and saying, you know, I'm from Narrabeen and people knew, oh, Narrabeen, sick waves there and so-and-so's from there and, you know, that guy's from there and you sort of had a bit of a, a bit of a leg up already just being from Narrabeen, I feel like. I mean, between Manly and, and Palmy, the Northern Beaches, you had the most world champions you know, collectively anywhere in the world at that time, between Potts and Barton and Doomba and TC. Um, you had Lane in there too, like it was just gnarly. Paddling out there, there's always someone better than you in the water, so you just sort of, you'd surf away really, really well and you think you're ripping, but there was always someone better out there, so it just really pushed you and you just kept your head down and no one really blew wind up your ass. It was just like, you're the grommet, just get back out and keep charging and, um, you know, there's always some, someone better out there, so it sort of really, really helped you lift. Hedge is an animal, he's, you know, he's fighting fit, he's competitive. He's the same thing, he's going to wait for, you know, amazing day at where he's from. They've all still got fire, but I would say between Hedgy and Dingo, they still grab you by the throat if they, if they could. <laughs> Hedgy would be fired up. Um, you know, he's got so much energy and such a competitive little nugget. He was unbelievable on tour, especially in his young year. Him beating his chest, you know, slapping himself around before a heat. You know, it's a surfing contest. It's done on what you're going to feel and see, and he's slapping himself till his eyes are blurry. All these up here, they don't come on the back of a Kellogg's box. That's actually a Tahiti final. <laughs> Runner up and I dislocated my shoulder. It was pretty sick. So I dislocated my shoulder and I went straight to hospital. And um, all the boys are legends come around um, and did like a little prezzo for me back at the house where I was staying. That was pretty nice. So I never got to do the prezzo. So they come and gave me that. And we got on the Hananas and had a good night. It was fun. Looks like something to bring home from Bali. That's actually J Bay final too, runner up. That was in the final with AI. That was pretty, pretty memorable. I needed a 10 to beat me and got a 10 to beat me, so that's a runner-up. 
unfortunately, second, but anyway. What else have we got here? And uh, this is a World Junior, one of the World Juniors at Haleiva. Funny story about that event was um, AI actually wanted to fight me in the car park because I was a wild card, I got in the event and um, he was pissed. He was like, who's this young guy from Oz beat me? He was like, yeah, just full AI fire. Um, that was pretty classic, good memories. I'd never really thought, oh, I want to be a pro surfer or I'm gonna be anything like that. I just, I mean, I remember skating along the footpaths and kind of surf skating and hitting the, hitting the grass and pretending I was in heats. I remember that, like real young thinking I was on the tour and like bashing the lip and doing floaters and going off gutters. I remember that, but it just happened like, I got sponsored so early from Rip Curl, I was like 13 or 14. And then, you know, I sort of didn't go through too much like the junior series. I kind of was doing the search movies and the surfing and it was such an incredible opportunity as a grommet. I mean, just surf perfect waves and we mentors and idols. It was just an incredible thing to be a part of. You know, where surfing's gone to now and how crowded it is and you know, still on uncrowded waves and new ways to be found, but it was, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty raw and just go and check it out and um, see what you find. It was pretty exciting. bad way to spend your surfing apprenticeship at sea surfing perfect uncrowded waves with multiple world title winners Tom Curran and Damien Hardman. The hog's trajectory was locked in early and he didn't disappoint. I was just the grommet. It was my job to get the boys cold beers and um, and um, take the soft wax off the off the boards and put hard wax on and go and find some waves so it was it was pretty dreamy um, experience just have the month off school and uh, just go sir. After the break we meet Hedgie's north side pit crew. <laughs> Having relocated to the north coast of New South Wales, Hedgie was in desperate need of some local knowledge. So he enlisted two of the northern beach's most knowledgeable surfers to help him out. Yeah, got a bit of a pit crew at Nara to help me out. I got Tommy and Nick Carroll down there, just boys keeping an eye. They're the masters of reading the maps and um, helping me, you know, kind of decide when to pull the trigger. So, you know, I'm stoked to have them in my corner. And, you know, this, if a good set comes and Tommy's beside you, you know, you're going, it's that extra little bit of ramp up that you need. You know, Tommy's there, you just, you just want to charge and go hard. So it'll be sick to have a, if it works out, you know, and we, it all comes together, it'll be sick to surf with Tom. died off this evening so it's sort of given us an opportunity to just to go and maybe try it out but I'm thinking in the morning it's going to be southwest wind the swell will drop off a little bit overnight there's lulls there's quite significant lulls but there's this nice strong east swell and out here you get this really nice left Hedgie's got some crazy barrels here go get the relationship back with her to say yes hello old friend hi Get to, uh, it's all a relationship, you know, you get to know the waves and then get a bit of a feel for it. So then tomorrow, hopefully it's uh, a bit cleaner. It's not like amazing right now, but just to know sort of how the waves are moving and get a feel for the bank. And then when hopefully a bit cleaner tomorrow, it'll be, it'll all come together. That's the idea anyway. You know, this time of year, we do get good swell and good conditions, but really we only have really these little windows of opportunity. Classic East Coast material, when you're on the lee of a continent like Australia, big old continent, we just get these little pockets of moments where it just boom, pops. And that's, we've got to make the most of it tomorrow morning. Tommy's bought me a 4-3 from the garage because I underestimated how cold the water was in it down here. So, Tommy's 4-3. Oh, that one's a bit offshore. He just, he knows how to make use of nothing. Like, he can make something out of nothing. That's why uh, he's such a threat. I think he's he's so good. Like, there's a good laugh down the end there. But to see it, that's what he'd be looking for. We'll see how you do some some good stuff. You know, he's frothing. He's such a damn good surfer. Imagine that tomorrow morning. <gasps> hey, how was that last set? Six 
proper oath. That was a really good one. That's the best one I've seen. But that's all you, Edgy. The master's just getting his eye in. He doesn't even need to come out. He's just like a cat. It's always ready, TC. Yeah, cats are. They're really kind of relaxed. And then they pounce. I had to learn that over time. You watch the section, you relax, and then boom. Like pouncing. Round. Quick couple before dark, feel the bank out. A quick warm up for Hedgie before the big dance tomorrow. With two time world champion Tommy Froth Carroll in his corner, you'd be brave to bet against him. There's no way. He took the drop, just a full, just nice stall, and he just popped out. It's like a cakewalk. He knows his wave. He just picked the right wave. He knows his wave back in front. That's how he's. Oh, it's looking promising. I mean, heaps of push on the bank, considering it's onshore. I just feel it's nice, you know, I mean, this is my home home, this is where my heart is, this is where I grew up and all my surfing career and my family lived here growing up, so it's nice to be back and um, just reconnect with Narrabeen and with all the stuff that's been happening in the world, it's nice to come home and just reconnect with the place and the waves and you've got so much feeling here and um, hopefully with some, any luck, fingers crossed, a little bit of offshore tonight, a um, bit lower tide, there might be a couple of little funnels in the morning, so got to try and... Um, compete with those boys, the, the barrels they got at Snapper, so I'm going to hopefully get a few little few little holes I can stick my bald head into and try and do something. <laughs> Sharp as a tack, fit as a fiddle and frothing like a can of dropped fizzy. Let's see what tomorrow brings for the hog dog. Welcome back to Rivals. Hedgie's probably in the best shape out of anyone, I think. That guy is like beast mode. Every surf I see him go for, he's just throwing score after score after score on the board. When he puts a rash on, he's just got these eyeballs. It's like they expand, his eyeballs get bigger. They kind of pop out of his head. He just, and he fro froths around and thrashes around <laughs> like an alligator taken out its prey. Might be able to give Bottle a run for his money, eh? Burley, what? <laughs> you know, my motto back in the day was first there, last to leave. I get to events early and do all the hard work and get all my boards dialed and get the connection and the relationship with the place going and then, you know, the motto was to, to be the last to leave too after the final, so fingers crossed it's a similar scenario to this event. You string together an amazing wave at your break and you know what's gone into getting that wave out there and putting it all together and, you know, it's all come together in that moment, That's, that should be rewarded too, you know. There's, that's the beauty about this event, there's more than one way to go about it and um, that's the exciting part, you know, it's everyone's take on their home break and bragging rights for the local. Woo it's three to four foot, classical north narrow lefts and clean as a whistle. It's also a Sunday, so watch out punters. Here comes the Hog and Froth one, Show. Two, one, two, three, four. Drops in, drags the chain for little pit. No comply, big hack out of the top. Wow. Oh, straight into a lovely wrap. Another little roundhouse cutback. Wow, I like how he tagged that. Little joining cutty there. See if he can tap it in on the end section. Darts. Well played, Hog Dog. That is a great opener. The hog dog is frothing. The locals are hooting. It's on for young and old. Heads up, coming at ya. All 41 years of him, Nathan Hedge, off the bottom and za. Wow, that is classical speed flow, critical surfing from North Narrabeen's finest. Nice little hack on the end there. Still got a bit more to offer this wave. Ah, oh, throws the fins. That's mental. Look at him go, the hog dog. He's been given the run of the peak at North Narrabeen. Off the bottom, big laser out of the top. That was sick. Oh, 
that's another that was mega. Oh, nice little tag there. He's fanging down the line here. That is a huge float. The boat has the knee joints after that thing. Wow. That is commitment plus plus. Now the top down view. Oh, just drifting the fins on that first turn. So sick. How's the rail game on him? 41 years old, 10 years off the world tour, but he hasn't lost an ounce of speed or flow. As he connects this thing through the inside and just another sick belt. Can't stick it on the end though. And this is what we came to see. Hog dog on three to four foot North Narrabeen lefts. Just razor sharp and slicing and dicing. Oh. Pep talk from his cornerman froth, and he's straight back into it. Absolutely gapping it, tucks in for a pit. Can he come out? Oh, puffed, he couldn't make it. Oh, what's this? The two time world champ himself, Tommy Carroll, lining one up. Oh, well, this wasn't in the script. Tommy wasn't meant to come here and steal the show. Are you kidding me on the phone ball? Wow. You're. Joking, that thing was a nug. It's all good times and great classic hits to the lip here. The boys are loving it and we're only halfway done. After the break, the hog dog takes it off slow cook and delivers a sizzling hot pot. Well, that was a simply scintillating opening for the Narrabeen slicer and dicer, Nathan Hedge. It's still pumping. Can Hedgey build his house into a skyscraper? The drone view, Hedgey winding up. How's that first pump? Look at the sand too. But, wow, that was huge. Comes off the bottom. Holy smokes, that was critical. Drifts the tail. Oh, that was so sick. Another one, just clinical surfing, big gap. Oh, this is just signature hog dog, floats the boat. That was a cracker. We'll see it again. Love that first turn, just anticipates the section and bashes it. Follow up re entry, huge gap there. And then just eyes off the end section and a sick. Early noughties floater into the flats. Little foam ride to top it off. Look at him go, he's got the six beater kick going. Is that Mick Phelps? And another one. He can't stop this man. Oh, another great turn. Drifting the tail, almost loses it. Little speed turn. Close out hit. Nails it right in the sweet spot. It's a Sunday in the middle of one of Australia's most popular cities, but the hog dog's not struggling for a wave. Oh, another fast flowing turn and a huge hack out of the top. This is great rail surfing, as good as it gets, really. Can't stick the end section maneuver, but still a strong wave. Just a minute to go, this could be the hog's last roll of the dice coming up. Here he goes, huge first turn. Wow, how's the flow straight into a little nug? Oh, can he doggy door it? He can. Man handles it. Well, kiddies, that was an absolute clinic in front side rail surfing. Take notes. Yeah, you know, nice clean rural edge bank. It's pretty classic fun little narrowing, so no, I feel stoked, you know. I um didn't quite get that mind-blowing moment, but you know, it was um fun session. Pretty hard to get the waves on Sunday. It's pretty thick crowd out there. I felt like I had a couple of strong turns, but I didn't get the completion. It's all a bit of a blur other than that. I, I didn't, don't feel like I got many complete waves, like start to finish and really like stamp the authority on much, but there was some moments and bits and pieces. It wouldn't be a surf out now, if you didn't get dropped in on Tommy anyway, so <laughs> that's how it goes. Good to but, surf with you. Yeah. Thanks for that. So good to see you go. Just clean out of it. <sighs> There's a couple moments, eh? Hey? Just a Yeah. <laughs> Little. <laughs> the hog lit it up in that one. Get your pen and pad ready 
Here's his top three. Head to mysurf.tv to give your score. Wave number one. Parks it, doesn't get the pit, but then this huge hack out of the top. Followed straight by a lovely roundhouse. Little roundy there to sick rebound. Another nice little hack. And then joining the dots and belt in the end section. Wave number two. Oh, I love that turn. So much aggression. Huge hack. Didn't skip a beat. Throws the fins on that one. And gets another little bonus section on the end. Wow. That was scintillating. Wave number three. This one's a bomb. Coils up off the bottom and just dances a cascading section. Another big turn. Sick hack, throwing buckets there. And then this big old school float. So much style. Classical surfing. I mean, TC's that. He's like 15 years older than me and how he's surfing now. And guys are showing, like, if you look after yourself, it's just. I just find that super inspiring if, you know, I just hope that, um, you know, if I get a chance to put on a show and, and surf decent in this event, it, it, you know, lifts people up and inspires people and shows, you know, for your 40s, you, you know, you can still be doing your best surfing and, you know, if they get one thing out of this event, that for me, that'd be, that'd be epic. You know, age is just a number and you surf for life and it's, um, yeah, it's only, only limited by your own headspace what you what you believe join us next week as jay bottle thompson scores pumping burly heads